And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, Derek, he's certainly the man to watch. In the last game, scored those three goals, but his general play was outstanding. He looked a threat whenever he got the ball, and I'm sure he's going to be the same threat today against this defence. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Raheem Sterling plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. Kane, but really sticking to the task defensively. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike. Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Committed challenge. Oh, in with a chance. Couldn't grab hold of it. But the keeper takes command of the situation. Javier. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? 50-50 this one. He twisted his knee. He's been trying out, but... I'm not sure he can carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Can he play it in? The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Joao Cancelo. The delivery. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Moving forward effectively. Space and time for the cross. And the problem not completely solved. But it looked so threatening, but the danger averted. And the advantage is with City. De Bruyne. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Eric Dyer. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? And he saw the situation developing. It will be claimed by the keeper.
Well, that's a super ball over the top. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And he could really get at the opposition. But nothing comes of it. No foul. Spurs advantage. But no discernible advantage. And quite rightly, free kick awarded. Reguilon. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. Lucas Moura. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Riyad Mahrez. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Is it going to be Riyad Mahrez? And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up, and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Oliver Skip. And close, but offside nonetheless. Gabriel Jesus. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Skip. Well, Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. Well, he's given it away. Well, he could run onto it here. He cuts it back. Well, I'll tell you what, that goes down as a miscue. He'll be kicking himself, Stuart. Well, it's a poor effort, but he's been given offside, so he's got away with that one. And that's an important intervention. De Bruyne. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Great opportunity. Can they keep it out? Oh, and he puts away the second chance. But the goalkeeper angry with himself here. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right, hitting it across the goalkeeper, making it difficult for him, and then a player coming in for the rebound. What a good goal it is. Everything right from the striker's point of view. Well, a second goal for them here. Sterling and it's Gabriel Jesus good defending breaking at pace and the counter-attack came to nothing well as the stats confirm City have controlled the ball and have used it really well today particularly in the midfield areas and I expect more of the same as the game goes on Jesus. Sterling. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Oliver Skip. Excellent ball over the top. Lucas Mora. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. 
Well, he's normally the ultimate team player, Hyung Min Son, but for whatever reason, it hasn't happened for him. Yeah, he's not played well, has he? He's just failed to have an impact here. Mind you, I think we could say that about the whole team. He just hasn't looked like scoring today. Well, the ball is moving again. The first half struggles for Tottenham were there for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it in this half? Lucas won it back and now passing it through and Gabriel Jesus he's in behind and excellent goalkeeping well it is good goalkeeping but the finish wasn't really good enough was it take it away well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game He'll have a go here. Well, in actual fact, it ended up being a simple claim for the keeper. Not a great pass. Good piece of attacking play from Raheem Sterling. Was it a Gabriel Jesus? And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So the action continues, and City really cantering to victory here. Given away by Tottenham. On and on he goes. And a throw in it's going to be. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Son in the centre. And touched onto the frame of the goal. And relief. Opportunity here. And space to exploit, maybe. Sterling crossing. It might still be problematic. De Bruyne and now they have the ball back so a half an hour remaining Son now Harry Kane oh he's through here and a goal he's put it away a celebratory moment Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Silva. Can you please remain where you are? Well, they have the ball once more. Thank you. Oh, he's given us away. Oh, 
Gabriel Jesus. Surely! Really digging in at the back, but still the opportunity. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense the goal's coming here. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Coming onto the pitch, number eight, Harry Winks. De Bruyne. Now with Jesus. Kevin De Bruyne. On to Jesus. Rodri. Gabriel Jesus. Given away by City. Winks. Now Harry Kane. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. of time still remaining this game is very much back on well here it is again and credit to the goal scorer but you have to ask questions of the keeper he's got to have that near post covered for me no wonder he's frustrated with himself Two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Fifteen minutes left for play. That's a fine looking run by Gabriel Jesus. And a decent delivery. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Decided to come in from the flank. Determined block, illegal play, and hence a free kick. A change in the offing for City. To extend their lead here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And over it comes. And not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. Well, taking on that shot and not missing by much. Well, that would have been an excellent goal, but it means everything is still up for grabs here. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Well, City are almost there. Not quite. They can't celebrate just yet. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in this match? Well, their attacking play has been excellent today. However, by throwing so many players forward, they've looked vulnerable at the back, which is why this will be a nervy finish. They just need to hold on here. Emerson, not the pass he had in mind. A delicious piece of skill. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. 
Over it comes. Well, no problems defensively. Space on the flank. Fed over towards the back post. This could finish it! Bodies forward and the break looks on. They need to get bodies back. This could square the game. And it still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. A City free kick forthcoming. Dyer did so well to intercept. Romero has got the right idea with that pass. Very quick thinking there. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel-good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end.